hi scorpio welcome to my channel scorpio i hope you are doing well scorpio i hope you are fine and safe and doing good this reading for today scorpio this is your next 24 hours star reading session for you scorpio thank you so much scorpio for supporting the channel thank you so much scorpio for being here let us see what is the guided message for the scorpio sign this is your daily check-in. I hope you are doing well, Scorpio. Let's see what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please. <clears throat> Let's see what is the message for the Scorpio sign. What can I get for the Scorpio sign? This is your next 24 hours reading. This is for the full month of November, probably until December, okay? I'll let you know if I will be able to pick up a specific storyline. Okay. Let's look into your Oracle card. You have Memory Scorpio. Look at that. Sorry, guys. It is... Look at that. Okay. Sorry for the blare. Look at that. So, it looks like you are in Memory Lane. It's possible, Scorpio um memory lane it feels nostalgic so it's possible that you're missing your family i'm also getting the word you're missing your old self you're missing yourself or you're missing out you're missing someone the memory lane it feels nostalgic so it's possible that you know it's your birthday scorpio so you feel nostalgic you know it's also feeling like oh the water look at that scorpio and if you look at the water oracle there's a heart Look at that. You know what I'm hearing, Scorpio, is that you are an old soul, Scorpio. You are a retro old soul, but you have a young spirit, Scorpio. You have so much to live, Scorpio. Yeah, look at that solstice. It could be, you know, sometimes when we are going towards our birthday season, we could be feeling nostalgic we could be feeling like we're going to memory lane it's a good feeling you know this is reflection like day and night like you're in the city if you look at this this is the city and if you look at the other it looks very grounding so it could be you know sometimes what i feel about this reading scorpio is that you're definitely a strong spirit, a happy spirit, a young spirit, but your wisdom is an old soul. And sometimes we forget about that. We forget that we have this strong, uh, happy spirit because we're too busy. So um, if you do reflect, you know, if one of these days, you know, one of these days I ask you, one of these days I ask you to sit and reflect you would definitely feel a wave of gratitude and feeling of, you know, fulfilled because no matter where you are in life, it's still good to be alive and it's, it's very good to be a Scorpio, you know? So there's something nostalgic in here, like you're reflecting about with the Solstice Oracle card. For some of you guys, you might find yourself looking into old photos. For some of you with this Solstice card, you might find yourself like you were living before. For example, for me, with the Solstice card, I was just in the Philippines, you know, and then I moved to Dubai, and then I moved here in New Zealand. So you could be going towards that memory lane where, you know, it makes you feel I've come so far. And when you think back and how you've come so far, it makes you feel um, how much wisdom you have gathered from the very beginning, you know, from your teens, your 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and up until this point. And it, you know, and it's, it's you know, water. Like your soul is your wisdom. You, you have a strong, happy soul, Scorpio. So a lot of reflection. I feel like it's good. It's so good to reflect. It's very grounding. Um, sometimes life is too busy. Our day-to-day -day is so busy. We're caught up with the web of the internet you know, the news, um, that we forget about reflection. 
So look into this, you know, if there's a part of you that you would like to go towards your memory lane, look at your old photos, your old messages here. I don't know, it feels like it, it might happen through your dreams that you would dream about. It feels like you are going towards in the past. You would, in your dreams, especially the Solstice Oracle card, for some of you, you would dream of your old house, you know, your childhood house. For some of you, you would be able to dream of your, your like elementary school. Um, something nice, something each one of you will have this, you know, this experience, but something nice. Go towards the memory. The memory reflects treasure, wisdom, and it represents your soul. It's very nourishing, Scorpio. Okay. It's very nourishing. Okay. Now. The second part of the reading. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. Okay, it's time to travel. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Well, the full card, it's not connected to this two. Okay, I'm really getting like this full card in here. Let's see. So for some of you guys, the month of November, you're going to take a bit of a splurge in the month of November. It's your birthday. So for some of you guys, you're going to spend your money towards travel, towards a very nice dress, a very nice suit. For some of you, um, you will be gifted a pet. For some of you, you're going to take a splurge or take a bit of adventure when it comes to shopping or money. Okay, there's something splurging, like rewarding yourself. You're, like, you're, you're going like you're going shopping, retail therapy. Yeah, look at that. You're, this is five of pentacles. You know, this is about spending your savings, okay? Five of Pentacles, this is like half of your, spe like, I don't know, it's not, it's not a great, it's a funny, crazy vibe, but for some of you, you go big, like you go hard with spending your money to yourself. And Five of Pentacles, no regret, I spend it to myself. You know, I will, I will regenerate money anyway with the Five of Pentacles. So for some of you, um, for some of you guys, you will create an adventure. You will create a bit of an expensive adventure. I would say the month of November, you will create a shopping adventure where your money, it goes to you. I like this energy because you know how some people, oh, I don't want to spend money because I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. For the month of November, there is something in your vibe where, okay, I saved the money, it's for me. I will still earn that money. So your concept of money, like the more you want more, the more you're going to work for more. Okay, it's like, okay, I need money then I need to work more. And if I get the money, I'll spend it to myself. So the month of November, all about you, retail therapy. And Five of Pentacles, you're not scared if half of your money goes to your spending because you believe confidently that you can regenerate this money, okay? so much confident in here yeah look at that what will i do with all this time and this money i spend it to myself okay so good on you scorpio like you're 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 you're, a, you're like um sorry i'm stammering um king of pentacles i'm committed to spend this money to myself and i'm committed to pay it all by myself too so very good scorpio very balanced now Okay, I'm still not done. Okay, so for some of you, there's a green flag. Okay, I'm kind of picking up like the month of November, there's a green flag and you will be able to afford something, something expensive, something worth buying. And it's for you. There's a green flag. It could be, I don't know, maybe there's a sale. You know that, what is that 11-11 sale or the Black Friday sale? Maybe you're going to be able to afford something, something nice, something good, something like there's a purpose on why you're buying that something. Okay, there's a green flag. You feel like, okay, I deserve it. It could also be like a travel adventure. Okay, because the, the full card is, I'm going to take a risk, take, take a leap of faith. I'm going to buy this. It's pricey, but it's for me. If you're not going to buy something materialistic, it could be you're going to buy it some you're, you're going to buy an experience, but there's a green flag. I'm hearing a green flag. So no regrets, Scorpio. Okay, now, so, you know, whenever I do a next 24 hours reading, it's unexpected what comes in, you know, and the Knight of Cups going to the Three of Swords, 
this person is going to use your birthday, Scorpio. It could be this person will say belated Scorpio or happy birthday, Scorpio. And I've been picking up this vibe for quite some time now, Scorpio. But they're going to use your birthday to connect with you. Okay. Um, they're saying, I'm happy birthday. I miss you. And I'm sorry. Okay. Someone is going to connect with you. Yeah. Chariot card. Um, it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's look at the chariot card. Eight of Wands. They're going to do it very fast, Scorpio. Someone is coming in very fast. It could, it's possible that it's going to happen exactly tomorrow, Scorpio. But someone is going to, someone is going to greet you a belated happy birthday or a happy birthday. And then once they've kind of warm you up, Scorpio, like once they've sent their greetings, then they will slide towards the topic of I'm sorry. And the chariot card, the eight of wands, they will take advantage or they will like they will take advantage or they they will take advantage or they will take this opportunity to you know, they think it's your birthday. You could be forgiving or you could be in the mood to forgive and festive. And, you know, maybe they're going to get a chance to see you. So, like, greeting you. I miss you. I'm sorry. And then they're, gonna, they're going to shift it to eight of wands. Can I see you? Can I schedule to see you? Can we talk? They're going to make it fast because they don't. Maybe you're going to reply to them. Maybe you're going to respond to them. But if you do, they're going to quickly shift the conversation into... Less talking, more seeing, more face-to-face, -face, Scorpio. Let's see. Yeah. Um, whoever this person is, they believe that you could be in the mood for forgiveness. Like, they believe that they have a chance with you, okay? The Page of Swords. Yeah, they're going to message you. I'm sorry. I miss you. Happy birthday to you. If you do respond, they will quickly shift the conversation to why don't we catch up you know face to face and this and that and if it take you a while to reply to respond page of swords they're gonna follow up again so they're very decisive to pursue you not just a happy birthday but more than that scorpio like someone is like i'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to really connect with you scorpio i think they have a good intention this is a knight of cups like somehow they're kind of in a hurry to like this person is like, okay, um, they're just really, they're just really looking forward that if you're replying to me, then I might as well, you know, invite you for a coffee. Like what, they want to shift it into something personal, Scorpio. It's definitely love. The Ten of Swords. The Ace of Swords, Scorpio. The Judgment card. I get the feeling that there is an announcement. You high priestess, thank you. So for some of you guys, um, the month of November, there is an interesting announcement. I get the feeling that it's an announcement. It's, it's an information that you could, because this, this could be World Wide Web. I get the feeling that in the month of November, you will find a lot of curiosity towards a radio announcement. There is an announcement. There's a news online. For some of you, you will be directly receive a message from this person. And I believe you could build a business with them. There's a business proposal. Three of Wands or Six of Wands. For some of you guys, look, for those who is thinking of, and for those of you who's interested towards entrepreneurship business or your hobby, monetizing it or learning from someone, learning from an expert and eventually, you know, converting that learning into something you can monetize it. I want you to listen. There is an announce, raid, radio announcement. Like, okay, this is, you know, you, I, I guess the last reading is for a Scorpio who is an aspiring business 
you know, person. Like you want to do business, you know, like someday I want to retire with an eight to five job or maybe you have an existing business, okay? You have an existing business or you, you're an, an aspiring creative person that would like to go into business. Now, the month of November, there would be a news, an announcement, a piece of information. I want you to follow the trail because it's going to lead you to connecting with someone who will give you a space or teach you or you would learn from them and then you can monetize it you can grow it you can have your own business or brand okay um i'm also getting like scorpio you keep visiting this website you know it's like you keep you, you like it's, it's it's your regular thing like you regularly visit their ig you regularly visit their ig their website because you like the product and someday you want to have business so this is part like you have a web, you have a history of visit towards this brand website. Uh, it could be an IG account, but you're inspired with their IG account, IG business. Okay, so you will have an opportunity to you know work with them or do business with them. Okay, I see you follow the trail and you will have like an idea on how to do business with them. Okay, high priestess. And this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, please do click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon. You have a great day, Scorpio. Bye-bye.